Woohoo! What's up guys, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in again. I've done a lot off camera. Teed up some of the wiring. It's got a long ways to go, but we'll get there. Computer's plugged in. I have a makeshift fuel system. I just kind of want to try and start this thing in the state that it's in. I have no idea what's going to happen. It should crank. And yeah, so I'm going to set you guys up real quick, see what happens. All right, I'm going to plug in my makeshift fuel pump. We'll get some gas flow into this thing and we'll crank it. Fingers crossed, here we go. Well, that's a no-go. Disconnect that. So, I guess, since it doesn't start, gives me the perfect opportunity to make a video of a guy that has no idea what he's doing, troubleshoot an LS motor, and see if we can get it running. I know the vehicle, or I know the motor runs because I had it running on the stand. But now that it's in the car, we need it to run, and it's not. So, let's do some troubleshooting and figure out why it's not running. Okay, first thing, we're going to check and see if there's any spark at all. So I got myself a spark checker here. Plug that onto the spark plug. Plug your coil end onto this end and then you guys watch for me and see if there's any spark Well, it looked like there was a little bit of spark, but didn't look super consistent. So now we're going to check with a test light and see if there's ignition 12 volts going to the fuel injectors uh, through cranking. Looks like we have voltage through cranking. That test light's only gonna tell us if we have voltage. It's not gonna tell us how much we have. We'll have to bust out a meter for that. Uh, we could check an ignition coil and see if that's got ignition through cranking. That has ignition through cranking. Um, okay, now I put the clip end of my test light is now on the positive terminal. So I should be able to light this up if I touch ground. And it, it lights up. So let's check for ground at these coils i'm sure that i have ground otherwise i wouldn't have got spark so we got ignition and we have ground and we have spark let's see if we have fuel injector pulse hang on a sec Okay, you guys, look right here. This is a Noid light. 
and I have it hooked up to one of my fuel injector wires. Let's see if we get a pulse off that. And we do. So. Still not starting. So here's what I've done off camera. I ran some more grounds. I grounded everything at the back of the heads, driver's side, passenger side. I ran grounds from those to the firewall and I ran a four gauge ground from a factory ground on the fender right here to that ground on the firewall. So here's what I have now. Those are water bottles connected to the fuel injectors and I'm gonna try and crank it over and see how much fuel is in each bottle and see if there's any and see if they match. So let's do some janky sh I don't know about you fellas, but I'm kind of thinking there should be fuel in there. I am kind of thinking there should be fuel in there. So, let me dig into that and see why there's not. I'll get back with you. Okay, another day. I start recording, I record a little bit, and then I work on it without recording it just seems to go faster for me so let me get you caught up the last clip you saw the water bottles connected to all the fuel injectors and i was getting no fuel pressure uh so i troubleshot it down to this fuel pressure regulator so that's the corvette style uh fuel pressure regulator this car is a 99 Firebird, it's set up for a return. So I used that fuel pressure regulator to maintain the return. Excuse me. And it just had no fuel pressure. So what I did was I mocked up the truck fuel rails onto the LS1 intake. I cut the crossover tube off because I had to be able to flex the fuel rails to get them in underneath the cowl. And then I just connected the factory V6 fuel pump and return lines that were coming up to the V6 motor, plugged those directly onto the truck fuel rail and this thing started right up. So let me show you, it runs really rich right now, but. So yeah, dude, woo, she's a runner. <clears throat> I was super pumped when she fired up. I've got a lot of work left to do. I still have to finish cleaning up the wiring. Obviously, I don't have a cooling system in here yet. My power steering pump just arrived with the bracket. Uh, it needs a tune, something fierce. But hey, we're well on our way, so now we can Put this part aside and just keep trucking on finishing up the wiring. I probably won't film any of that. You guys have seen enough. And we'll get to doing the radiator, you know, the cooling package and power steering pump. Uh, she's a runner, guys. That's freaking amazing as far as I'm concerned. Never done this before. I've never torn a motor apart before. I've never built a motor before. 
it didn't start right away. It took a lot of troubleshooting, and, but she's a runner. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Peace. And I'm out.